Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Arta and today I'll be showing you how to make this ruched crop corset with crystal flowers in Clothe 3D. Also, you can check out my Connect Closet or Arta Station website if you like to support me. Let's get started. Bring an avatar from library and create the base of our crop top with the polygon tool. For care points, hold down Ctrl key on your keyboard. Right click on this edge and select Unfold Symmetric Editing and then hit Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V to make a copy of this pattern for the back. Adjust its 3D position, right click on it and select Flip Horizontally. With the segment sewing tool, start the sewing process. From the 3D window, check your sewings and make sure you didn't make any mistakes, then hit space key on your keyboard to simulate. Now let's add some internal lines. Don't forget to hold down Ctrl key on your keyboard for care points. You can edit the points and the segments with edit pattern tool and you can edit the care points with edit care point tool. Double click on one segment of the internal line so the whole internal line gets selected, right click on it and then select cut and sew. Make a copy of our fabric, bring down the new fabric's opacity to zero, then drag and assign it to these patterns. Hold down shift key and select these segments. Right click on them, select offset as internal line, then in the window that pops open, click on OK. Don't click on anything else, just right click on one of the internal lines, select cut and sew and in the window that pops open, click on no. Draw an internal line connecting these two points, hold down shift key, select this internal line and this segment, Right click, select distributes internal line between segments. Increase the number of offsets to a value of 2 and click on OK. While the internal lines are still selected, right click on them, select extend trim to pattern outline. Do the same for the back patterns. Hold down shift key and select all the internal lines, right click, select offset as internal line and click on OK. Create an internal line like this, then change both of the fabric's presets to trim full grain leather. This fabric doesn't stretch or bend easily, which is exactly what we need for the corset top. With the polygon tool, create a shape like this, which is going to be the rouge part of the corset top. Now add two points just like this. These points are gonna help us do the sewings a lot easier. As you can see, I'm making this pattern longer, since the value of these two segments should be triple the value of these two other segments. Now hold down shift key, select these two segments and distribute internal lines between segments. While the internal lines are still selected, right click and select extend and add point to pattern outline. With the please fold tool, click and drag the arrow from the top of the pattern to the bottom part. In the window that pops open, make sure that the number of internal lines per pleats is on 3. Start the sewing process with the pleat sewing tool and sew the sides together. Freeze this pattern and then hit space key to simulate. Click 4 times on one of the internal lines to select all of them and then you can delete them. Bring down the pattern's particle distance. Decreasing the particle distance can help with the fabric looking more natural. You can also change the mesh type of the pattern from quad to triangle since the triangle mesh tends to display the details more clearly. Increase the friction value of all of the fabrics so they are less slippery. If this happens after simulation, don't worry, just strengthen these patterns and you'll be good to go. Decreasing the particle distance and also changing the pattern's mesh type from quad to triangle could help with this problem as well. Click on avatar's body and from property editor bring down skin offset so there's less distance or space between the fabrics and character's body.
Click 4 times on one of the internal lines, right click and select cut and sew. Do the same for the other pattern. Add some thickness to these patterns by holding down shift key, selecting all of them, and then from property editor window, you can change the value of add thickness rendering. Select your preferred button shape and then with the button tool, place it on your pattern. You can adjust the button size from the property editor window. Select the button with edit button tool and hit Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V. Now, instead of clicking normally this time, you should right click so that this window appears. Change the render type of the buttons to silk so they look a bit more shiny. Make a small circle shape and bring down its particle distance to a really low value. Add some thickness to it and adjust its size and particle distance. With the polygon tool, create a leaf-shaped pattern. Don't forget to hold down Ctrl key on your keyboard for curve points. Select the pattern and hit Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V and then right click in the window that pops open, select the number of copies. Select all of your crystal patterns, right click on them in the 3D window and convert them to a trim. Change the render type of the trim to metal and if you like, you can also change the color of our trim. To create that crystal effect, you need to use a normal map. Just search crystal normal map in your browser, download and test a bunch of them to see which one looks better. Adjust the texture scale and then glue the trim to your pattern. In the object browser, you can make copies of the trim to have some variety in colors of the crystals. If you face this issue that the size of your normal map gets messed up, don't worry, it's just a bug. Right click on one of the trims and select all trims, that will fix it. I want some of the patterns to be a little see-through, so I make a copy of the existing fabric and bring down its opacity. Then I'll assign the patterns to this new fabric. 
Lighting is one of the most important aspects of 3D rendering, especially now that we have highly reflective materials like metal. Make sure to use a good lighting preset or consider creating your own lighting setup using the tools provided by Clo3D. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.